The Cambridge Creek drawbridge is back open to those who walk, bike, or drive across it. For the last two months, crews have been repainting and making repairs to the 72-year-old bridge. I was very worried because um, I just started business here. Paul Byers owns Paul Subs on Academy Street, which is right next to the bridge. He says after the bridge closed, he noticed a drop in business and blames detours and traffic as the reasons why people stayed away from the area. I just think people um, got tired of driving around standing in traffic. And Byers isn't the only one who didn't like the bridge being closed. It was a pain in the butt. Octavine Saunders of Cambridge says it made her drive more difficult, but she understands why it had to be done. It was a necessary evil, but we needed it fixed. And so now it's fixed and it's safe and we're happy. As for Byers, he says business is starting to rebound. The bridge just opened up today and um, I could not believe how busy it's been on a Monday. I'm new on the block, but I'm good on the block. So I'm just hoping things will improve with now the bridge is opening back up. The price of gas is expected to soar past $3 as we head into the end of the year, and drivers aren't happy about it. The timing could not be worse, um, and it is going to rub people the wrong way. I ain't going to never get to fill my tank up no more. <laughs> you go to work to pay to drive to work, almost. The start of the increase came over the weekend. According to AAA, prices rose three cents a gallon. That now brings the national average price of regular gas to $2.85 a gallon. It costs a little bit more to fill up my tank than what it usually does. And with crude oil on the rise, AAA says drivers can expect to see as much as 20 cents added to the prices at the pump. It is kind of frustrating. I drive a vehicle that gets very poor gas mileage and I commute almost an hour to work every day. Uh, last last month alone, I spent a little over $500 in gas just getting to work. I mean, who can afford that with these bills and gas going up this high? I mean, it's winter time and people's out of work and, uh, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. You know? Consumer like myself and other people are going to be hit very hard in the pocketbook. Uh, we're, we're not happy about it. Uh, we have to, we have to deal with it.